I'm Abel Garcia, and right now on your 13 Action News update, the website to order free at home COVID tests is up right now. You can get four tests per household. Shipping is free, and to order yours and to get more information, visit our website at ktmv.com. Police are investigating a double shooting in East Las Vegas after two people walked up to a gas station with gunshot wounds. It happened near Charleston in the 515, and according to Metro, an officer was serving a search warrant when he heard gunshots around noon. Then the two victims asked the gas station clerk to call for help. Police say one of them is in critical condition. The other has non-life-threatening injuries. No word yet on the shooter. Park MGM is going to leave the door open. The duo Silk Sonic is coming to the property for an extended stay at the Dolby Leaf Theater. The Grammy-nominated group is made up of superstars Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack. Their first performance is set for Feb February 25th, and their last show would be April 2nd. Pre-sale tickets are now available. Danny. Picture perfect conditions today. Our temperatures rebounded back to the low 60s under a lot of sunshine with calm wind and we stay comfortable through your Wednesday night. We don't drop to the upper 40s until we approach midnight tonight. Things are going to change a little bit as we close out the work week. Expect a light breeze to pick up Thursday, but still a very pleasant day. Highs will be capped a couple degrees cooler, but still on the mild side for the uh, middle of January. Forecast high of 61 in Las Vegas and then the real wind arrives on Friday. This is a look at sustained wind in Las Vegas. You see late afternoon, early evening evening sustained wind 20 to 30 miles per hour with gusts potentially exceeding 30. So it is going to be a windy end to the work week and the breeze will linger into Saturday, but it doesn't do much to temperatures. Our highs will stay close to 60 degrees with sunshine as we head into the weekend next week looking even better. Danny, thank you so much. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTMV.com.